this lesson will be more than meets the eyes. Why is that? Because this is the first part of a series on transformations. And if you just got that joke, then that's awesome. If you didn't, that's okay. Um, so we're looking at different kinds of transformations. Today, we're going to be looking at translations. So no, we are not going to be going and translating different things in different languages, even though the preview might have uh, made you think that. But we're going to be looking at the very first part of translations, and it's important for us to start off right. So we need to have some different uh, vocab to talk about things, and we're also going to be talking about how do we properly use uh, proper math notation when talking about transformations. So the vocab, uh, first thing we need to know about the pre-image, and we also need to know about the actual image. So when we um, are kind of talking about um, a pre-image, and so maybe I'll, I'll take a step back. We're talking about moving pictures. So here's an awesome picture of a rectangle. Yep, it's pretty exciting. It's a rectangle. And the rectangle is made of four vertices. Kind of like that. And I'll, I'll call these A, B, C, and D. A, B, C, and D. And let's just hypothetically say we moved it. So we moved this thing over here. Oops. Let me try and let me try and do the, a really good version of this. So we're just moving it. We're not making it bigger, smaller, nothing like that. So imagine my scale is about right. And we just moved um, it over here. So this is called translating. When I move something, when I slide, so another word for translations is slide. When I slide things left or right, up or down. And when we're talking about the pre-image, this is the pre-image. This one here is the pre-image, A, B, C, D. But when we talk about the image, we put these little kind of like apostrophes here. So this is where we've moved it to. So if you wanted to go and try and figure out, like, A, move slide this way and down, didn't it? So it went to the right and it went down. And things to think about is when you go to the right, you're adding. When you go to the left, you're subtracting. When you go up, you're adding. When you go down, you're subtracting. So the print image is kind of like the letter itself. And uh, the image is with a little apostrophe. And that's kind of how we'll be talking about things. You're also going to be seeing a lot of things like this, talking about rules of the coordinates. So every single point, so like this point here, is comprised of an x and why. And we need to know the different rules. So when we're talking about rules, we're talking about how x was changed. Now let's hypothetically say a went over here and down. So we're adding and then subtracting, aren't we? The x is being added and the y would be subtracted. So we'd be like x, for this instance, we'd be like x plus some number, and I don't know what number it is, so I'm just going to call it a, and then y actually went down. It subtracted some number, and I'll call that number b. So we're going to be talking about how to go and figure all of these things out. So the big takeaways, translations are about sliding, and that means moving left or right, up or down. So let's go and see what one might potentially look like, shall we? So here I'll just uh, do a, a transformation uh, of a translation. And this is what we're going to be, be saying, basically. We're going to move um, so uh, a pre-image, the letter P, to the image spot. And we're going to say that the, um, the translation goes by the rules of 3, 5. Okay, so that just basically means that the x will add 3 and the y will add 5. So if one of the coordinates was, let's say, um, we started off with um, a point, so let's say we had a point right here, 
So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. And let's just say the point started at negative two, negative three. So it started at negative two, oh sorry, negative two, positive three, sorry. Negative two, positive three. That's where it started. And we want to apply this translation rule. So we want to do that. So we're moving this one across three and up five. So this is gonna move across three and then up five. Do, 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 and end up here. Okay, that's what's basically happening. Now you can go and do that, you just kind of count. But we want to kind of be able to talk about this um, properly. So where would it end up? That's where I, I want to know. Where does this point end up if that happens? So what are you going to be doing? You're going to be kind of saying that this negative 2 is being added to 3, right? And we're saying this 3 is adding 5. Okay, so what's negative 2 plus 3? Well, that's going to be 1. So our new point would be 1, comma, 8. And that's where it is. So this would be the image. Is that 1, 8? Does that kind of make sense how that kind of works? So this ended up at 1, 8. That was applying this rule to that situation. These are different ways that you could write it. Um, let's take a look at... Uh, an example where you have to kind of go and and figure some things out. So imagine that we went and we were told what the rule is. So we were kind of said that we're gonna um, we're gonna move, we're gonna translate um, this point, and we'll say the point is negative two two, and we're gonna move this one two. Uh, one, negative one. That's what's happened. I've already told you this is this is what's happened, and I want to know, um, basically, what is the rule? What's the rule? <coughs> so let's go back to remember what we're kind of talking about here. We're talking about x and y, and we're moving this. We're moving this one, right? So something has to happen. So something has to happen. So we have to go and basically, you know, add a number. And we also have to do it for x and we have to do it for y. Now if you're wondering like where did a and b come from? Good question. This is just saying I'm going to I'm going to add a number to the x coordinate. I'm going to add a number to the b coordinate. At the end of the day, the x coordinate goes from negative 2 to 1. And at the end of the day, the y coordinate goes from 2 to negative 1. Can we go and use algebra to solve this? Why, absolutely we can. So let's go and see what this would look like. I would say I'm going to go negative 2, right? This is the negative 2 right here. There it is. I'm going to add a number, and it's going to equal 1. So what is that number? Well, I'm going to use my basic, kind of my basic algebra here. I'm going to add 2 to both sides, right? I'm going to add 2. And a would equal 3. Okay, so that's the first rule. Now the second rule for the y coordinate, I'm saying it's this 2 plus a number, I don't know what the number is, is going to equal negative 1. Again, I'll go and use my handy dandy algebra skills. I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. So b would equal negative 3. Okay, so now, whoop, what's the actual rule? If I had to go and summarize this. The rule, the rule is this. For the x coordinate, I have to go and add 3. And for the y coordinate, I have to go and subtract 3. And that's the rule. That's what we can apply to this translation. Pretty cool, right? Absolutely. We'll do one more, just for fun. The math is always fun. So here we go. We're going to say that J moved from the following. We're going to say from the J of negative 2, 6. And it moved all the way to the image of 4, 9. 
There we go. So how did it happen? I want to know how did that happen? Hmm. And how did this happen? Double hmm. Okay. So <clears throat> I want to go negative two plus some number was four. So that would be you know basic algebra here. That's me six. Okay. And for the other one, I want to say six plus some number was nine. So hopefully you guys can see that. That's going to be three. So what is the rule? The rule is x plus 6 and y plus 3. Remember this is all this is all about being able to take an image on a graph. So taking any kind of um, thing. So say we had a triangle and we want to go and slide it. We want to translate it this way and maybe we go down. Maybe that's what we do and it ends up like this. It doesn't shrink, it doesn't get uh, bigger, nothing like that, it just moves. So this is all about how we translate things. And there you have it. Next up we got rotations, dilations, reflections, all sorts of transformations. Stay tuned.